Here's a piece of business advice that's blindingly obvious once you know it. A couple of years back, I went shopping for hiking boots with a billionaire. We were at the southern tip of Chile in a town called Punta Arenas, and we we're about to head south to Antarctica. We were going to catch a plane to a place called uh, King George Island. Then we were going to get on a, a small boat, which would take us to a bigger boat and go all the way south into the Antarctic Circle. But we were told that we needed some extra stuff, and for him, that was some hiking boots. So we went to the shop, and my friend, who I call my friend the billionaire, is not a billionaire, but he co-founded a business that was sold for a billion dollars. So he's doing all right. So anyway, we're buying these hiking boots, and it gets to the pointy end of the sale, and my friend says, these look great. I think I want to buy them, but can you sweeten the deal? Can you sharpen the pencil? Can I get a discount? And we've all met people who say this. Indeed, I'd probably say 15 to 20% of people in business will always ask if there's a better offer. It's smart business. Now, this guy is a billionaire. He could buy the entire shop. But here's the thing about successful people in business. We love the process of sales and selling. Most people, when it gets to a pitch, they run away. They worry that, I don't know, they're going to lack the self-confidence to say no or something like that. But successful people, when they're being pitched to or sold to, they lean in and they just get involved in the game. They love it. So anyway, he says, can you sweeten the deal? Can I get a discount? Now, the clerk in the shop did not cave in like so many people do. Instead, he said, no, I can't give you a discount, but here's what I can do. I can give you two pairs of socks for the price of one. My billionaire friend loved this. And he loved it because what he didn't do is he didn't allow the customer or client to pull the price down. What he did is he added an incentive or a bonus to push the value up. And indeed, in doing so, he increased the average purchase size. Now, my friend, the billionaire, immediately bought the shoes, bought the socks because he had enjoyed playing the game. So in your world, when it comes to selling whatever it is that you do, and it gets to the pointy end of the deal, and someone turns around and says, can I get a discount? Can you sweeten the deal? Can you sharpen the pencil? What are you going to do? Here's a tip. Take the fears, the obstacles, the mental blocks that all your customers have, all the reasons why they normally say no, write a list, identify them, and then transform each of those things into a bonus, an add-on, its own independent product. So when someone says, can I get a discount? You can say, no, I can't lower the price, but I can give you this additional thing instead. And the best additional things tackle their headaches, their obstacles, all the reasons, the mental blockers, why they would otherwise say no.